focus focus a little more that's it hey guys welcome back digital microscope so what is this well if you've ever been to a biology class then you definitely know how much fun it is to peek into the micro world this device allows you to magnify an object by a maximum of thousand times and not only view but it is also a camera that can snap pictures and videos before i start don't forget to check out my previous video gearbase.com is hosting three awesome giveaways exclusively for my subscribers and the winner will be announced next month watch my previous video for complete instructions on how to win the link for the video is in the description below anyways here's the box it shows a picture of the main device a couple sample pictures on the side and some potential uses for it on the other side it says a thousand x the color iron gray nothing much so let's dive in first we have the microscope as i said earlier it looks like a stage mic there's a usb cable attached to it which goes into the computer other than that there is a simple stand with a base plate which we will put together in a moment a cd with the drivers and relevant softwares and finally a calibration ruler this is the most interesting part you can calibrate the microscope and then effectively measure the dimensions of your object let's set it up now the stand is very simple to assemble the rod goes into the base plate the screw from the bottom to hold the rod in place the microscope holder goes in here and with that our stand is ready this is our microscope the lens is in here it has a protective cap over it we'll get rid of that for now it has eight white leds in there to illuminate the object here is the zoom roller it can go from 50 to 1000 x just by rolling it from side to side you can see the lens drift in and out when i move this there are two buttons on the sides one says snap uh, you can take a picture while magnifying simply by pressing this button and the zoom button is supposed to give an additional 4x digital zoom this groove is for the holder mount and it goes on it like this now we go ahead and connect it to the computer it connects to a usb 2.0 port it will not work with the 3.0 port but that shouldn't be a problem as 99 percent of the computers still come with a usb 2 port immediately the leds will light up I'll set my microscope on its stand and now insert the CD into your PC. I don't have a CD drive on this laptop, so I put it in my previous laptop, copied all the files from there and pasted them here and then launched the auto run option. There is a very detailed user manual here with pictures from the apps showing the initial setup and operations in detail. Very helpful, not more than me, but very helpful. If you're not my subscriber, then you definitely need this. Now we need to install the driver. So I'll click on it. Next, next, and it's done. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. Next, I'll click on this button which says measurement. This will install a second app which we can calibrate to measure stuff. This menu is also available in Chinese, by the way. Now we are going to fire it up. The first app that we installed is this. The name is Cam App. Launch it, and straight away you can see the camera is working. If you see your webcam instead, simply go to device and select the USB 2.0 PC camera. Now all you have to do is slide an object under the microscope and turn the roller to zoom into focus. You can lower or raise the device by rotating these wheel kinds of things on the stand. And you can also adjust the lighting by this knob halfway down the USB cord. Once you have your object in focus, you can watch and wonder how awesome the tiny things look in macro mode. One thing I notice is that through the whole spectrum of magnification, the object is not always in focus. For example, this piece of cloth is in complete focus now, somewhere near half the total zoom. And if I zoom further, it will blur out again and then come into focus almost near the end. So this is supposed to be something between 900 and 1000 x. The picture quality is surprisingly good. I totally did not expect it to be this clear. All the tiny details are completely visible and there is no blurring, not even near the edges. At this point, you can take a picture by simply pressing the snap button on the microscope or by going to the capture tab in the software and clicking on still image capture. You can save it wherever you want. I choose to take pictures from the software because I fear pressing the snap button on the microscope might shake it. If you go to the capture tab and press start capture, this will start recording a video and you can do the same again to stop recording it. The output video is 1280 by 960 pixels default at 30 frames per second. Rest of the settings are irrelevant for the review, so I'm going to move on. Let's move to the next app we installed. It's called Cooling Tech and has this green logo. Again, 
When you launch it, the camera will start up and you can see the preview here. This is very similar to the previous app except in this app, you can doodle on your images with lines and text and calibrate it to measure your subject. These camera icons lets you take pictures and videos and you can also go into full screen mode. All your recently taken pictures and videos appear on the tab in the right side which you can play anytime inside the app. I'll show you quickly how to calibrate it and then we'll move to a collection of my macro photography which I compiled for you guys. So you take the calibration ruler, place it beneath the microscope. I'm gonna go for max zoom. When the image is crisp and clear, I'll go ahead and take a picture. Now I double click on the picture, click on the ruler icon and click calibration. Since I know this distance is one millimeter from the ruler, I will click on one end, drag the line till the other end and release it. A window will pop up, it will ask for the actual distance, I will enter one. The increments are set to millimeter by default in the settings. So now at this magnification, the ruler microscope has been calibrated. Now I will remove the ruler and continue with a piece of cloth under the microscope without touching the zoom any further. Look at that. With naked eye, you can barely see the individual threads that the cloth is comprised of. With this, I am able to see the individual strands that make up the thread. Now I want to know what is this distance. So I will take a picture again, double click on my picture. And now click on this blue icon in the toolbar. Now if I click my mouse and drag, it will start making a line and it will show its length at the same time. I'll release it here. So this tiny distance is uh, 0 0.06 millimeter. It's not very clear. Let me take another one. Okay, I'll just measure how thick the strand is. At 0 0.08 millimeter. That's cool. That's uh, pretty much a complete overview of how to use it. I went ahead and recorded a couple of things on video to give you a clear idea of the results. First off is salt, common table salt. Man, look at these crystals, they look like rocks. Next on is something similar, sand. I saw a post on Facebook recently which showed how different individual sand particles looked under a microscope. So let's see if that's true. Looks like the admin wasn't lying. I mean, look at them. Uh, they all are dif almost different color, differently colored. I mean, different shape is obvious, but I did not expect different colors. If you're familiar with my lens videos, then you know there are some tiny critters involved. So here's a caterpillar I found inside a veggie and I caught it moving its fangs. If that's too gross for you, let's look at something blank, like a blank phone screen. Uh, if you look at a white phone screen, you think it's tiny white dots, right? But they're not. White pixels are actually made of three colors, as you can see. This is one individual pixel. It has red, blue, and green. Low resolution phones have even bigger pixels, as you can see here. I found an army of tiny red ants setting camp on a bed of flour left behind on the kitchen counter. I managed to record one of them in action. Let's get some greens into the mix, shall we? This uh, is a normal leaf. Look at how magnified the vein is. You can actually see tiny little pipes kind of things running through the vein. This is a vascular bundle. Water runs through here to go into the smaller branches and then into individual cells. Let me flip the leaf over. You can even see the veins diverge here into a smaller branch. How cool is that? Next up, human skin. Finger to be specific. Look at this fingerprint. Look at how huge the ridges are looking. If you notice carefully, you can see tiny little holes on the surface of each of the ridge. These are sweat pores. And here you can see them pushing out sweat in the form of tiny droplets. This is another ant trapped in honey. I found a jar full of them. They lost their lives to their appetite. I'm going to stay quiet for a while now so you can watch in peace. Alright, that's pretty much it. I am very pleased with the gadget overall. It is very fun and practical. I would give it a MyBooth rating of 8 out of 10. 
I wanted to give it a 10, but I'm pretty sure this is not a 1000X even at max. I did a little comparison between a picture of a leaf I got from the microscope and one I got from an authentic source from the internet. You can see the difference. And also changing the height of the microscope with uh, these two wheel thingies is not as easy as it looks. It has to be used a bit uh, to soften it a little. Nevertheless, for a retail price of $19, it is completely worth every single cent. I've left a link for it in the description below in case you want to check it out. That's it for now guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. You can also follow me on Facebook and other social media. The links to all of them are in the description below. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And yeah, don't forget about the giveaways. The video is showing on the screen right now. So click to watch it or look for the link in the description below. Bye.